Hi, welcome. Let's have a look at Linux Mint Mate. So I just made a video about um, XFCE. There's also the possibility to uh, install Mate or Cinnamon. And what I've done in the other video is do this line. So OM for manufacturer's installation. So this time I'm gonna use the start Linux Mint and we are going in a live environment. And the other one is really directly in the installation. And that's, it's actually, the OEM is actually intended for people who are selling laptops. So you install the application and once the person that buys it, opens it up, boots it up, it gets the question, who are you? What password do you want, etc. And everything installs fine. So everything is actually installed, it's just creating users and, and, and all that. So this is the, the live version. Um, it's a bit small, I don't know if you can do something about that. Let's see, control center. Let's see if we can do our display. Display, just type it Eric, displays. That's the icon. And see if I can make it, probably can't. Let's see. No, probably I can't make it to my regular size, the normal size, it's 1980 or something. So, so let's take this one that's gonna work for me for the video. All right, apply. Yes, keep it close, done. So the installation, English, like this sounds good, continue. Choosing Belgian keyboard, that's always the same procedure on any distro. Don't wanna install as of yet MP3 and all that. It's just virtual box. Erase the disk and install Linux Mint is always easier than something else. Gonna go for erase and then continue. That's it. No, not. We still need to do stuff. So, my name is Eric and my password is very hidden. Nobody knows. And then continue. And it's going to copy files. You can always, always take a look at it. And it's always interesting to see names pass by. So this Py thing means it's a Python, it's a language, and it's um, something that's running in the back. So this guy seems to be running on Python. All kinds of information, ubiquity, ubiquity. And the kernel is here. Okay. We found Brussels, where I look, or where I, the lookup and the geo name, lookup where I live. Well, it's not where I live, it's correct country. Okay, and he's going to install everything. Let's take a look at the live environment at this point in time. There's image viewer, pix, standard mail, rhythm, text editor, calculator, terminal, sound system, monitor, displays. If we click on all applications, that was uh, I was looking for that. So we have all or just the accessories. And this is the image writer we're using in Arco Linux. So USB image writer, exactly the same thing that we're using. It works 100%. Guys, there's nothing better than that. That's the min stick, that's the name you type in for the AWAR. So yay or Trizen Minstick. That's actually what we use. Eric, show them. Yay, mint stick. With a T, it's gonna work better. And then I'm gonna show you. Opla, there you go. So yay, mint stick is uh, a Git version and another version. And uh, basically this guy is installed. So we using the Git version. And it just works out of the box all the time on 80 different distros and versions, as you can see on ericdubois.be for the Saturday icons. So, configuring hardware, almost done there. Just going over some of the elements. Gparted, always interesting to see how your hard drive or your SSD or NMPCE, or what it called again, uh, is um, laid out. Time shift to system restore utility.
and then preferences. And the Compass config system manager is here as well. We've just made a video on uh, XFC. So um, Mint, uh, Linux Mint XFC. They have also the Compass config settings manager there as well. But let's restart because it's always better to install the system, reboot and do the stuff, not in VirtualBox actually, but do not stay in a live DVD or live uh, CD. That's not the point. That's never the point of any distro to stay in a live DVD. You need to install the stuff and work on it, preferably not in VirtualBox, but on a machine that's worth calling a computer, meaning uh, lots of uh, memory, lots of power. And then Linux comes to its uh, potential, its full potential. All right, this is Mate. The same approach here, a pop-up telling, hey, who we are, documentation, first steps, and a welcome. All right, Mate 64 bits, 19.1. That's what we're on. We're doing the same approach as the other video. Let's go and get Sardi and Surfen icons because we are want to see if everything is okay. And in the meantime, learn about Linux Mint and show you the beautiful Linux distribution. It is Sardi icons one search source forge. Okay, you search. And then Surfen icons is here. That's good. Did you find it? Accept it. Files. Get it. Okay, that's downloading. If it's not downloading fast enough, choose another server. Lots of servers. If you're living in France, Brazil, Japan, US. So choose the server close to you. That's there. And on the Surfen icons, we went here clone zip that's also saved okay let's go to the file manager right mouse click extract here that works and then right mouse click extract here and that works too you have to wait until everything is finished and then eric's home Control H works on any Linux, Linux system. So view, show hidden files, Control H, right mouse click. I do not see a dot icons. So a hidden file, uh, sorry, folder. And in this hidden folder, if you put any icon in there, it's going to be loaded up by, by, with your system, by your system. Control X, there's only one exception and that's always the same. It's KDE or Plasma. That's the main exception always. It's not in dot icons, but in local icons. Okay, and okay. So these guys are empty and these guys are all copy pasted over here. We just don't need any of the scripts. We just need icons and that's it, all icons. 33 choices to theme your system. Where do we theme our system? Okay, we have our control center. Let's have a look. Where is it? It's all other icons. So appearance, that's the one we need. So let's start typing appearance. Right mouse click, add to desktop, add to panel, show my favorites. Show my favorites would be, oh, a good choice, cancel. So favorites, it's here. It's now there. Appearance. Custom Mint X Blue. Let's choose a theme. So the same themes come back. Let's take this one. This is super uh, arc theme look in the sense of the, the folders. It's uh, basically probably a arc icon theme, which is beautiful, which we like, we love. And um, let's customize it even further. So. These are still the icons from uh, Mint, but we can go further, Mint Aqua. But we can say, let's now take the Sardi Flexible Arc. You see it's the same kind of arc or a folder from Arc uh, theme. Horst 3180, if you want to know, that's the GitHub. It used to be uh, his work and we're using it still. 
So everything looks blue. That's the point. Everything should look blue. Everything should look circular. And we are going to check if everything is just dandy or not. All the icons are looking okay. Good news. So nothing to develop. No work for me. That's always uh, okay, right? That's super news. So everything looks so awesome. And if there is not, uh, is there an icon missing? You just tell me. There's a, the GitHub on, uh, you can put it in here, issue. But there's also a Sardi GitHub, and that's where you ask, hey, I have this application, that application, I would like to have another um, icon for it. So just put it in here, new issue, and that's it. So let's now play around with, uh, that's also fun, play around with Mate. First thing first, I saw in XFC that we have the possibility to theme it with Compass, right? So where is this thing? Windows, set your Windows properties. Let's have a look. Behavior, placement, uh-uh. Let's change this icon. That's, that's one thing that is sticking out a little bit now. Let's see if I click here. Aha, uh -huh. I have other things. Can I see it, the image? I guess I shall have to click. Is it now changing? I'm not sure. I have lots of numbers. Okay, that's the one I like. And that's a nice one, but maybe a white one if possible. That's another color. It's another guy. That's, those are nice. Well, you choose whatever you like. I think I'm gonna go back to this one or this one. That's the one I like. I just wanted to have it more in white. But no problem. In Sardi, I have the similar thing like this, but then a very white, white one. Okay, so menu stuff show applications plugin, show system plugin, show places plugin. Do you want to see all these things here? Plugins, places, yes, no, uh, system, places are out. You get this kind of look. Okay, fine. Themes, desktop theme or another theme. Applications, show application comments, maybe not. Category icons. Yeah, favorites, hover. Okay, favorites. One column, two columns. I like actually, let's see what happens. Let's take 60, it was 48, but I think I need to check out the favorites now. Otherwise we won't see anything, Eric. What were you doing? What were you thinking? So this thing, that thing, well, let's go back and let's just type it, delete, delete, 48, just one maybe. Mm -hmm. I've launched something or oh, not unintentional. <laughs> Pix, okay, fine. You can't get this thing to resize. So XFC has this uh, whisker plugin where you can actually resize the thing. You can't do that here. I think we're back where we used to be. A little bit different, I guess. Name it, applications, favorites. Okay, so let's go back to two columns, places. Yeah, whether you want to have these places here or not. All right, so the menu can be tweaked and themed any way you see fit and change it around. Let's have a look for preferences. I want to choose Qt5 is here. Let's have a look because we have Qt5 in Arch Linux too. And it's the same application, same software, of course. And everything is here more or less the same. Okay. So 
pop, pop, pop. Uh, wanted to go to the control center again. That's maybe better to get an overview. Because I'm looking for something specific now. The compass again, the compass. We have compass here, but um, I need to be able to say somewhere, use compass, right? Because this is the settings of compass. I want to say, use the wobbly thingies. So I have to look for a way and where it is to set the compass. Let's have a look. I would choose Windows. I thought I just opened that already. So enable the software compositing window, shadow, no shadow. That's this uh, breaking down. Okay, let me live. Enable, disable. Okay, but where is my compass? So let me look and see, let's see how I can find it. All right, found it. It's hidden away in the desktop settings. There you have the windows and the Marco compositing, the Marco Compton. So let's open up Control T, something to show. What is this, by the way? Mate terminal. So this is Mate terminal. Let's take another wallpaper, change desktop background. Something light and bright, voila. So, Marco Compositing, Marco Compton. Still, still transparent, but this time relying on the Compton. Meta City, not transparent. Meta City Compositing, transparent. Meta City Compton. Transparent, and here we are. And let's see if standard we have the wobbly things, and it is so standard. We have wobbly control alt arrow to the right to the left, and arrow up, arrow down. So that's it. And when we press left mouse with control alt, control alt pressing, then we have a nice cube, and we can rotate the cube. Never mind the lagging. This is VirtualBox. You never do that. On, of never stay on VirtualBox. Check out your uh, distro always on laptop, on desktop, on the real metal. So that's there as well. System reports. Let's have a look what that thing is. Thing is. Some crash reports. Install that. Install this. Launch time shift. So they give tips, which is okay, right? A tip, an idea, why not install the multimedia codex? Why not set up a restore utility point like they have in a Windows restore point? So that's nice. Everything is okay. So that's desktop settings, backup tool. That's the the tool to, to time shift really. Time shift is, is launched and this point more or less, it looks different. Doesn't look like time shift, but might still be. Nah, probably not. Looks like something completely different, but probably gonna rely on the same thing as rsync and all of those software packages. Login window, network printer, software, software sources, ports all normal, Bluetooth disks, disks. So this is GNOME disks, which is interesting, which we have on Arch Linux 2, which I kind of like, but uh, can I just find it what it's called? about there you are gnome disk utility so point is in distros in linux in general you can acquire the things that just work for you if you say i want to have a gnome thing on a mate thing or a gnome thing on deeping it doesn't really matter you have to think out of the box it's an application that runs on linux whether you're working on i3 or on xmonad doesn't matter if you want to have it, install it. That's my point. Think out of the box. I'll be saying that a lot of times in a lot of videos. Power management, sound. Do they have sound? In the sense that we write Linux Mint, you can activate a sound system. So 
like on Deepin, there is a standard sound uh, scheme when you boot up, when you do this, when you do that. Not really a fan of it, but it's there. You can use it, you can turn it off again. So here's the Compass Config Settings Manager. A little bit tricky, a little bit um, difficult to, to think, to, to uh, set everything right. So, well, maybe a good idea for guys that are on Arch Linux Mate to check out the configuration of Compass in Linux Mint because it is thinking out of the box. Why not get a configuration file from a system and put it on system B, right? Compass configuration and see if the configuration that they have, all you have to do is look for the profile. Where is this profile from Mint stored? And then put it on uh, Arch Linux Mate to see if everything works fine there. So that's the thing we need to figure out then. Where is it stored? But it will be stored somewhere, right? The question is only where. So an idea. And what if that just came up, popped up? Compass. Languages, Qt5 settings, main menu, screen saver, windows. Okay, all normal stuff. All right, guys. Only one thing I should still do is check out Surfing. So in the favorites, I've put my appearance. Quickly go in that way, go in background, the fonts. I can make the fonts a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, I'm curious to see what he will say. <laughs> okay, what did he do now? Yep, <laughs> he told me that 11 is too big <laughs> for the theme. Uh, no, <laughs> I want to keep 11. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so customized. Um, I can scroll, scroll all the way down. Surfing Vertex, why not? Surfing Vertex. Close, close. And this is Surfing Vertex. All kind of icons, all applications looking okay. If you really want to know if all the icons are in order, then you go to the computer, you go to the file system, you go to, and you start typing user, share, applications, and you open it up. All these icons should be surfenized. These two guys are not surfenized, but as you noticed, they are not in the menu. So we do not care at all if it's okay or not. Now maybe let's include a tip here. Let's include a tip. What if, what if you have icons in here that are not okay? They're not following Sardi, nor are they following um, Surfing, nor are they following Numix, nor are they following Papyrus, nor are they following Paper, etc. Sapphire theme, lots of beautiful icons out there, but it's not applied. Let's include it in the video. Sharing knowledge. Type in Fogalon hard code fixer. Go to his website, well, GitHub, clone it, download zip. It's gonna be here. Click, click, and then you have hard code fixer. Extract here, double click it here. Um, let's see what issues we get. So just start running it. You need to be pseudo for it because it's going to actually change the stuff in user share applications, the place we were just at, and it will see if there are icons that are hard code fixed. It. I can make an application and say the icon is in user share icons, high color, SVG, I don't know. And then that's hard coded. It's a specific path and they should stop doing that. Software engineers stop doing that. So, Basically, you say run this fix thing. Let's see what issues we get on Linux Mint or not, not. So otherwise you would have already given the idea, given a prompt, you're missing an application or so. So HP printer is solved. The icon is now nicer and Python is nicer too. So let's have a look if we can just go back. I don't think so. So back to the file system user share applications is this one 
HP was not good. Don't see it straight away. But Python was changed as well. It probably not and then gives this one. It's never the same. Let's help. Anyway, um, let's not waste time. You see the icons were changed, fixing HP printer and fixing Python. You can do maybe an HP here. That's that's possible to show you that. At least that now. Search HP. Nope. Not even here. So I must disappoint you, but you'll see if you have these are the standard applications from Linux Mint, right? But if when you start installing, I don't know, uh, WhatsApp applications and then Spotify and, and any of the others, some of, of them will not change ever from icon. Every every icon theme you choose, they always stay the same. That's a hard coded path. You know now the drill, you know what to do, you know the website, that's how you fix it. Do give them help um, if you have uh, issues, uh, report them. I have report lots of issues and it gets fixed. If you report them, everybody benefits and everybody is going to be um, helps. So you see my name here, Eric Dubois, has been fixed, a duplicate it seems to be. So that's um, my mistake. And here are other things from me, Eric Dubois, Eric Dubois, Eric Dubois. So report issues to it, to the this developer. Basically what's what he does, you can have a look at it when you download it, ooh, wobbly. In the downloads, you have here the hard code fixer. This is just an Excel, right? Calc, okay. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Open it up already. So we have a lot of applications in the past, people, programmers who said, this is a pathway and we changed a pathway in just a name. And Linux is smart enough to figure out, hey, I should look for Order in papyrus or in paper or in Umix, and voila, we get an icon for it, but not this icon that's from the programmer. So we replace this with this, and that's what's going on behind the screens. Okay, that's um, some knowledge shared for you guys. Enjoy your Linux Mint Mate, it's a beautiful system, awesome. Have not updated, he's waiting for me to update here, but um, it's just a virtual box, and I'm out. Have fun.